Hello, my name is Eleanor Pauly. I'm a third year PhD student in Tours and Metallurgy at Lucy Cavendish College, uh, University of Cambridge. Uh, today we are organising CASM, the Conference on Human Analog Space Missions. What are analog space missions? Basically, they aim to replicate certain aspects of space missions at reduce risk and price. Why? Because we want to go to the moon and we want to go to Mars. Therefore, we need more than a 15 minute flight to actually test experiments, test astronauts, test habitat, and test spacecraft. Today, we are reuniting for the first time analog space crews and our space organizers from around the world to communicate about what is being done. We are so happy to have them and we're grateful for Lucy Cambridge College for the benefit they've given us. Hi, I'm Patrick Rennie. I'm president of the Mars Society in the UK. Um, I work at a company called Reaction Engines Limited over in Cullum in Oxfordshire, uh, working on space access uh, propulsion systems, and I'm part of the CASM organising committee. The CASM is the Conference for Human Analog Space Missions, and we're all here to bring the analog astronaut community together, discuss our technical missions, um, have some feedback, some workshops, work out what each of our missions strengths, weaknesses are, um, best practices and make the whole community a bit stronger together. Hello, I'm Simon Feast, I'm the CEO of the British Interplanetary Society and we're here this weekend supporting the Mars Society UK event, the CASM event. Um, we are a society with all interests to do with space, covering space history, technical projects, education and outreach and this event is really important for us to support because we feel that advancing humanity in all areas of astronautics is in our interests and, uh, and we're here to promote the event and, uh, and share a lot of our, our interest and experience uh, in this area too, so it's a real privilege to be here. Hi, my name is Leszek Orzechowski, I'm a director of Lunaris Research Station, it's an analog habitat located in Poland. And well, uh, we are isolating people for uh, weeks and weeks. Given that Lunaris is isolation facility, we are uh, preparing the same set of uh, conditions inside for every mission. Uh, and it's a perfect opportunity for researchers to uh, get data uh, from uh, multiple missions and get statistics. This is something that you can't normally do during analog uh, uh, campaigns. But, uh, well, with us, we, we can at least try. Um, and if you want to join one of the missions, you are welcome to do so. If you want to propose a, uh, an, an investigation, uh, an experiment, you can also contact us and see what we can do together. Hi there, I'm Julie from Walmart's organization. I'm here today at the CASM conference in Cambridge uh, to present what we're doing, which is essentially uh, promoting women in the space sector in space exploration and to do that we organize uh, analog space missions we also uh, organize survival trainings as well as team building weekends so we're very excited to be here today and to meet all the other analog crew uh, members and missions uh, so our first analog mission will be uh, set in utah in the united states later this year at the mars as a research station and uh, we had the our first survival training last year in October in France in the forest of Burgundy. Hi, I'm Mark Heemskerk. I'm an exogeologist from Amsterdam and I'm the founder of the Chill Ice Mission and co-founder together with Charlotte Howells for Icy Space. And we are here today presenting the work that we're doing with Chill Ice and Icy Space as a company. Okay. Hi everyone, I'm Charlotte Howells, I'm from the Netherlands. I'm a system engineer and also one of the co-founders of Icy Space. And as Mark told me already told you before, it is a company that's focusing on space exploration using analog simulations here on Earth. And the company actually consists of 27 volunteers, highly passionate people from uh, experts in the space sector, uh, but also coming from 16 nationalities. So we have a very diverse and international background of expertise. And we're looking forward to maybe host you in the future. Hello, I am Veronica and I'm President and Project Leader of Aspegius. So we are here today at CASM to uh, present our project. Asclepius is an international and student-led space analog mission based in Lausanne, Switzerland. We are aiming to do one analog mission a year. We are currently at our second iteration, Asclepius 2. Our mission will take place in July 2022 in the Swiss Alps. We have a crew of six selected analog astronauts and a team of 50 people working to design our mission. 
Hello everyone, uh, I'm Loic, I'm the Vice President of Asclepios uh, and I'm also the head of the astronaut team. Um, so I'm leading this crew of nine astronauts with also a nutritionist and a medical team such that we can select, train the astronauts for the mission that will happen this year in July. The astronaut training is split into different parts as we have a really international crew. We have some parts that are done remotely and then we have, uh, for example, the first in-person training that happened last February in the mountains of Verdier in Switzerland where we did an extreme environment training with uh, two experts in the field. We went uh, ice diving uh, and we camped there. We took a storm, um, a lot of pressure, but this is how we built the teamwork and the family. My name is Dr. Maria Harney and we are here to represent M M Mars. and we're tomorrow going to be talking about the analog missions and our experiences and specifically focusing on the space medicine and the human factor and the uh, countermeasures that we used in our missions to mitigate the psychological effects of the space flight. Hi everyone, I'm Rena Tolentino, here at my first time at CASM 2022 at Cambridge University. I will be talking about art and space, specifically about MMR's Astro Wellness Program. I have conducted the dark painting project as well as the, as well as the body mapping project. Thank you.